This is Skip with the WSGF and today I'm going to talk about some upcoming changes to the WSGF stand product line. We recently ran a survey on the site asking people questions about their display configurations and their thoughts on the WSGF stands, both the Triple XL and the WSGF Ultimate. One of the primary questions we asked was what is your current display configuration versus what is your desired display configuration. Looking at the data, we see that a decent number of people currently and desire a single display. This is of any type. It could be 1080p, could be 21 by 9, or it could be 4K. So between those 10 and 9 people responding for current or desired, some of these people may currently have a 1080p and looking towards a 21 by 9 or a 4K. We see a very small number of people have dual displays, but basically everybody is moving away from that configuration. Looking at 3x1 landscape, we see that that is the largest amount of the survey respondents, although between current and desired, that number shrinks. We see a very tiny amount for 3x1 portrait and infinity or surround, but we see a growing number of people with 3 plus 1 in infinity or surround. This is 3x1 landscape with the additional accessory or extra display. We also see a growing number of 5x1 portrait affinity users, but this is still a small amount of total users. There were a measurable amount of users who responded other with current or desired. This could be somebody who was looking at projectors, virtual reality, or some other non-standard configuration. So looking at this data and other responses in the survey, I've decided to make some changes with the WSGF monitor stand product line. So what I have on the table now is the WSGF triple XL. It starts with the heavy duty base, the short pole, three pivots, one fixed, two adjustable, three cable clips, and the five segment bar. This five segment bar is what differentiates it from the standard ErgoTech Freedom Triple, as this five segment bar allows us to go beyond 26 inch panels and really support 27 inch 1440p panels. This set here has retailed for 349 and is accounted, depending on the season, for about 30% of sales. So if we remove this short pole and we replace it with a tall pole plus the mini bar, and then we add in two adjustable pivots, this gets the WSGF Ultimate. With these additional components, we can do three by one, we can do three plus one, or we can do five by one portrait. This kit has sold for $3.99 on the store and represents again about 70% of the product sales. Looking at the survey responses, what we find is that very few customers out of the total actually make use of this fifth pivot for five by one portrait affinity, either in their current setup or their desired setup. The vast majority of users are either currently or moving to three by one or three plus one. So what I've decided to do is remove one of the adjustable pivots and replace it with the short pole. So what you will get in the version two of the WSGF Ultimate Edition is the short pole, the tall pole with the mini bar, and then four pivots, one fixed and three adjustable. If you're one of those rare customers that does intend to do five by one portrait affinity, if you ask in your order for the fifth pivot, we will include it for free. Going forward, we expect less than one out of 10 and approaching only one out of 20 customers to actually need this additional part. Additional feedback from the survey, I've decided to make some more changes to the kit. In addition to just the three cable clips that have been included, I've decided to include standard the clips found previously in the cable management kit. This will bring a total of 13 clips included in the box, three pole clips and 10 bar clips. Additionally, we've decided to include the alignment kit that was previously offered. The protractor and level will help users with configuring monitors to ensure that they're aligned and that they have an even angle between the outer monitors and the center. One last piece of feedback that we got was that the base was oftentimes too slick when users had gone to adjust the bar and the angle of the arms, they found that the entire stand moved. Additionally, there were some customers who were concerned that the base might scratch a wood or glass desk. 
Based on this feedback, we're also including an eighth inch neoprene pad that's been hand cut to fit under the horseshoe shaped heavy duty base. One last piece of feedback that we received from the survey was a desire for a reduced price. Even with the additional items and changes, we are pricing the WSGF Ultimate Stand version two at 374. This slots in right between the Triple XL at 349 and the previous WSGF Ultimate at 399. Beginning October 2014, we will convert all existing stock to the WSGF Ultimate Stand version 2.0. If you have any additional questions or comments, please click the form link below in the video description. I would like to thank all of the survey respondents for their feedback. In particular, I would like to thank all of our existing customers for taking the time. Thank you very much.